Version 1.3 of the Metropolis brings a number of new and improved features to this already capable sequencer, including per-step and aux-controlled ratcheting, performance shortcuts, pattern memory, eight global memory slots, and volt per octave tracking on the auxiliary inputs. So let's have a closer look at what's new in 1.3. To activate ratcheting on a step, simply hold down the slide skip button and turn the encoder clockwise to select between two to four ratchets per step. All ratchets can be cleared by holding the exit button and turning the encoder in either direction. Ratcheting can also be selected as a destination for the auxiliary inputs. There are now a number of handy shortcuts to quickly activate parameters without entering menus. By holding Mode, Stages, Step Div, Scale, Swing, or Div, and pressing one of the eight slide skip buttons, you can toggle between settings. This makes the Metropolis even more powerful as a live performance sequencer. This feature will not be active while in a menu, so be sure to exit any menus first. Your favorite scales and sequencer modes can also be saved as shortcuts. Under the config menu, select scales. The flashing slide skip button now shows which step is being edited and the display shows the scale assigned to the shortcut button. Once you have selected the scales you want for your shortcuts, exit the menu and now you can toggle between your chosen scales with the shortcut buttons. Modes can similarly be assigned under the modes menu. Just be sure to save your settings if you want to be able to use these assignments down the road. The eight slide skip buttons can also now be used to save patterns. Hold the save button and click one of the stage buttons to save the current pattern. Hold the load button and click one of the stage buttons to load a previously saved pattern. Holding load and pressing exit will switch to the current panel settings of Metropolis. There are now eight slots available to save global settings, so you can quickly recall your most frequently used settings. Simply select the slot you want to save to, and press the encoder to save your settings. Then press the load button, select a slot, and press the encoder to recall your settings. The config menu now has a B-slid, B-skip option to toggle between the single-click behavior of the stage buttons between slide and skip. The reset option in the config menu now has a reset R, or run mode. In this mode, the reset input functions as a run input. When the gate is high, the sequencer runs. When the gate is low, it stops and resets. This works great with the MicroMIDI's run output, but it can also be used in other creative ways. For example, you can use a gate signal from a keyboard to trigger the Metropolis to start from the beginning and stop when the key is released. By combining this with pitch output to the aux inputs that can now track one volt per octave, you can use the Metropolis as a kind of complex arpeggiator. DIN sync support has also been improved with this update. Selecting the tune option in the config menu will send a steady zero volt note to assist with tuning oscillators.
The aux inputs can now track 1 volt per octave in pitch pre, pitch post, and root modes with the old LFO oriented modes still available as pitch pre L, pitch post L, and root L. If your Metropolis was acquired before version 1.3, you will need to calibrate it for this to properly work. The calibration is done through the config menu by selecting Calib and will require a tuned voltage source able to precisely transmit 0 volts and 1 volt. In this case, we are using a microscale and a quadrat to send the correct values. Be sure to turn the auxiliary A and B attenuators all the way up. Then, connect a source transmitting 0 volts to aux A and press the encoder. Then send 1 volt and press the encoder. Then repeat the process with aux B. Once complete, Calib will flash and you can exit the menu.